collection from. <clears throat> Going to be working on a snowball grapevine wreath today. This is one of my signs, Snowballs 5 cents. And today I made some wreath attachments to go with it. There are little snowballs that you can tie on. They are the exact snowballs that are in the sign. They will be available in my shop tomorrow. I have not listed them. I just made them today. So, how's everybody doing today? Is it snowing where you're at? What's the weather like? Well, hey, Sue. Thank you, dear. Sue is living the life in Florida. <laughs> Thank you. She's missing this huge storm that is has just started about an hour ago. So, supposed to dump like 18 inches possibly. So, all right, we're going to get started. I took this wreath base is 21 inches. It's an oval 21 inch. I already did some pre-cutting on it. I didn't do a lot as much as I normally do um, because I felt it was going to jeopardize the integrity of the wreath. So you really have to check it when you're working on it. Hi, Fanna. Welcome, Jeannie. Hey, Esther. How are you? We're in the middle of the start of a big snowstorm right here. So I thought, let's work on a snowball wreath. I thought that would be fun. All right, so we've got my sign. I showed you the uh, wreath attachments. So we are going to be using, I cut 10 inch mesh at 10 inches, and I'm gonna put a red and white and a black and white in each tie. Okay. Now all I did with the tinsel tie is I ran it through the grapevine, put a little spot of glue in there, and that's going to hold it in place. Awesome. Do you have any snow in Canada right now, Esther? We are supposed to get up to, could be anywhere from 11 to 18 inches. So, we will see what we wake up to. Don't have to go anywhere. I've got all the supplies I needed. So, I'm good. Go stay home, stay put, stay safe. Thank you, Thana. I will be working on your um, aprons tomorrow, just so you know. These are the size, and I can put your logo on them. Everybody was asking <laughs> on the last one. Oh, wow. That's a lot. All right, so I'm just going to roll these. They're cut at 10 inches. Just going to roll them up and put two in each tie. I have 12 tinsel ties on here. I'm going to be putting tails in. I'm going to be putting a bow in. I went with um, colors that also can be associated with Valentine's because usually in our area we have snow sometimes. In uh, during Valentine's, so it's kind of nice to have a wreath that you can leave out. So that's the whole idea behind this one. Sue is doing awesome, she's enjoying Florida. She moved now. If we can get her to start doing lives again, then we can see how tan she's getting. How are the dogs enjoying the weather, Sue? 
Do they like it? I bet you they do. I bet you they don't miss the cold at all. This is a fabric mesh and this is a deco mesh. The fabric mesh has some um, glitter metallic stripes in it, which will complement the sign and the, uh, um, the ribbon. Oh, rub it in. Sue is enjoying the good life. Man free. <laughs> and sunny Florida. It's real easy to turn a grapevine wreath into a mesh wreath. Oh, good. Do you get a golf cart with your place? Because I know you said you haven't been able to ride in the golf cart yet. and warm and free of snow. <laughs> That's our Sue. She's doing awesome. We're just doing curls with this. Anytime I use a fabric mesh, I want it to have some metallic in it to give it some um, strength. And I also always use it up against regular mesh because then it gives it a little support. If I were to use just that, it really wouldn't be supportive because fabric mesh is a lot um, lighter weight mesh. I think those colors are looking good the colors that are in the sign. So I put 12 tinsel ties on and glued them down. Now who else just said they were from Florida? Okay, Jeannie. Jeannie's on here and she says she's in Orlando. Are you close to her, Sue? Oh, thank you. Can I ship you some snow? I know you're going to be missing it. <laughs> Don't you want some for the yard? And believe it or not, these rolls were already opened and used. So 
This is a good way to use up leftover mesh. I'm just putting them on the one side all the way up to the top. Just I highly encourage everybody not to use value mesh, to use regular deco mesh. The value mesh is not as strong, and the fabric mesh really does better if you use it against a stronger mesh. Hi Nanny Dot, how are you? Stay safe. Keep that broomstick handy. Don't go outside. How are you feeling since your fall? Okay, just let the um, kids out of school and Joe just got home, so. There we go. Okay, so. What I want to do now is I want to put some tails on there, but I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put my bow. Should I put it in the middle? Should I put it at the bottom? Should I put it at the top? Now when I made these today, I added ribbon so I can just tie them down in place. Where do you think I should put the bow? Top, middle, bottom. What's your preference? Got smudge on my glasses. Well, that's good. Where do you think? So, where do we put the bow? got this red and then the black. I like the fuzzy on the edge and I have the fuzzy on the edge for the um, the black too. Okay, Esther says middle. All right, we can go with middle. So if we're going with middle, then we're going to put our ties on. And I'm going to do four here, four here, and then leave four blank in the middle for the bow. Hey, Kathy, welcome. We're working with my snowball sign. We have, uh, we're in the middle of a big snowstorm right now. It's supposed to get possibly up to 18 inches. So I thought, we need to work on a snowball wreath. And because you know how the winters are up here, this is a wreath that can be left up for Valentine's Day too. So, fix, there we go. And I made some wreath attachments to match the sign and they will be in my Etsy shop tomorrow. I absolutely love, love, love this snowflake ribbon. I That is my absolute favorite this winter. Which I think I'm sold out of. So we're putting four here, and then we're going to do the top four because we're going to put the bow in the middle. Now, when I put the bow in the middle, I was showing you the other night when I did the snowman wreath, I have this ribbon that is little snowflakes. So we're gonna incorporate some of that in there. I also was showing you the new colors for um, for 
the Valentine's season. And I don't know if any of you were on that night, but this is seven eighths, okay? This is now a really thin um, ribbon. What I found with this is, I always get stuff ahead of time to try it out, make sure it's good. I, and I'm using this in my color palette for my Valentine signs. This really frays bad. So I would highly suggest they make a product called Fray Check, or you can fold it once, fold it a third time over, and put a little hot glue on it. That is the only way you're going to keep this ribbon from fraying. All right, we've got four down here. So now we're going to go up to the top and do the top four. So we ended with the black, so let's start with the red. So we've got one, two, three, four. We're leaving the middle open for the bow. This is a 21 inch oval grapevine. Now, I'm not trimming my tinsel tie right now because I want to incorporate some of this in there. I'm just not sure how yet. So I'll wait until the end to trim my tinsel ties. What's the weather like where you are, Kathy? Esther already has snow on the ground. Susan's really warm because she's in Florida now. Now, I may just hang this. Let me see. I went ahead, like I said, and added this ribbon. So, if anyone buys it, you can use it to make a bow. And that's how you tie it to your tinsel tie. didn't want to use Christmas balls. I kind of wanted to use balls that match the sign because I don't want it to be mistaken for a Christmas wreath. I wanted it to be more for a winter snowball wreath. So that's why I did that. Okay. may incorporate this in the bow. I'm not sure. Where are you at, K Kathy? I'm in Pennsylvania. We're already getting snow now. It started a couple hours ago. And how much are you supposed to get? Because they're calling probably for 11 to 18 inches here. Oh, 
thank you, Esther. Didn't glue this one. So let's let's get the edges cleaned up. Nothing worse than fragged edges. We don't want fragged edges. Oh, okay. So you're kind of like up. contemplating whether to use this or not. I've had this and I hate to part with it, but I thought this would kind of look cute in the back. This is a three and a half inch from Michaels. Thought it would make it look frost, like warm. I don't know. I'm just not sure if I want to use it. First of all, I've never gone above two inch wide <laughs> on on my uh, ribbon. I don't know why, I just have a thing about that. Never used four inch. That is almost six inches. Don't have too much left of it, so maybe it's time to part with it. Okay. Then we've got a ribbon here. Oops. We'll go with, let's see, yeah, the red next. I know, I, I really love the black and the white and the red and the gray. I, I love those colors together. The wreath that I did on Monday night on my live was a snowman one and it was also set up to be able to add um, valentines in it to change it. So you could leave it up pretty much all winter long. So we've got our red and white with our snowy, furry white peeking through. Let's go ahead and do our snowflakes. one of the black and white. Then we're going to do four of the red. Oh, thank you. Some is Sam's Club. One is Michael's, one is Craft Outlet, 
these are both from Craft Outlet. Um, Cause like I said, I needed colors for my Valentine's signs that I'll be making. So I kind of had an idea of my color palette and to make sure that the ribbon I was getting was also easily available to anyone purchasing the sign. Then we'll go to the hound's tooth. I need to use my squishy thing. Don't always use that. doing about 12 inch tails. The um, tails I put in the wreath, they were also 12 inch. Now with this, I'm thinking of ending with this on here. I kind of like it going down to the real small size. So we're going to fold in our ends because remember I told you this frays really bad. So if we glue the ends, we don't have any fraying. And probably the best thing to do is take out your wire before you start gluing. I thought that would be a nice touch. Just a little added. And I'm only going to do one loop as the middle loop. How much snow are they calling for in Massachusetts, Kathy? Hey, Dawn. How are you? We're working on our bow. Here's what we have so far. It's an oval grapevine wreath, 10 inch mesh, two rolls in each tinsel tie, 12 tinsel ties all the way around. And then I also made some wreath attachments to match the sign. They'll be available in my Etsy shop tomorrow. Right. And then I asked yesterday about aprons. My aprons are 20 plus shipping. I put your logo on them. They're quite wide. They're really comfortable too, and they have a double pocket in the front. Right? You're getting up to 24 inches, Kathy. Oh my gosh. And Dawn's getting up to a foot. We're, they're saying 11 to 18 inches here. And my grass is getting pretty covered. They said that I think at one point tonight, like three inches an hour. That's just insane. All right, now we need some tinsel tie. And I know I saved some. Thought I'd go with the white because it'll blend in with all the fabric, the mesh, and ribbon. Get this in here and then we'll cover our tinsel tie, I mean our zip tie. That's crazy. But I ran out and got everything I needed. 
some stuff yesterday and then when it was wasn't snowing this morning I went and got a few more supplies <gasps> and I went to the Dollar General again and I have to show you what I got look at these they're kind of plot like the, it's kind of like that lambs lambs ear where it has the flocking on it um get what it's called but they were like two dollars a piece I thought that was a nice nice like pick oh good I do those I do the the garden flags you name it license plates yeah I thought they were really nice we, I sent everybody to the Dollar General last week for these. Um, we found these, and they have a little light in them. This year, they put um, cardinals on them. So everybody was running out there last week for that. But I found those, and I thought, wow, that's, that's not a bad price. $2 for that length. And that size. So, it's pretty crowded, too. Everybody was grabbing up last minute items to be stuck inside for a couple of days. We live right on a main road, and uh, you can see what, you know, what the um, road is like. So, it's just our driveway is pretty wicked when it gets slick. It goes straight down. I'm using my fuzzy ribbon. Why not? Make it look fuzzy. All right, let's get this on here. I don't know that I'm going to put this now in the bow. I think, I think maybe I'll put it here and then move the little one over. And then we'll see if we need to fill in any of these spaces with um, some more um, tails. I don't think so. I think we pretty much have it covered. <laughs> well, I do. You know I got your logo, Thana. I've done aprons for Missy. I've done aprons for um, that quick her, her uh, name went out of my head. Um, it'll come to me. Oh man, isn't that terrible? I didn't cover my my tinsel tie or my zip tie because this middle little middle loop is gonna do just that so I forgot and it's gonna be covered anyhow so we're good we are good And this really is pretty sturdy, this ribbon. It's just the end phrase. I do like it. I do like the quality of it, except for that part. Oh, great. I 
Okay, so let's move this guy. Because we're going to put the big one, the big snowball here. And like I said, I didn't want to add any balls to this because move my big guy. There it is. I didn't want to um, have it associate with Christmas in any way. So that's my reason behind that. And I left enough on here so you can tie a bow. Now I'm not sure that's where I want it. Let me see. Yeah, I guess it's all right there. Gonna tie this up at the bottom of the tinsel tie for the wreath sign. I think it'll look better there. There we go. That way I can space out the other one. And I didn't glue this one either. I just fold it in. Actually, it's a lot easier to leave, I think, the wire ribbon in there because it helps in your folding. I'm just doing this to cut down on fraying. This ribbon frays really bad. these snowballs, they match the sign. I handmade them. I wonder if Yvonne is, Levon is picking up cocoa now. <laughs> is that what you think, Z? That's the way we do it. Z is watching from Bulgaria. I offered this morning to send her some snow. She doesn't want it. <laughs> Welcome, Z. Girlfriend. They had a pretty windy storm over there and lost some trees. Some trees are down. But alright. Now, I also have some of these that I thought these might just be something as filler. So I think I'm going to put one at the top of the sign here just to kind of disguise the tinsel tie that it's sitting on that's holding it in place. Maybe I needed some solid in that bow. Maybe that's what it needs, see? I am going to incorporate this in there somehow. Maybe I need... Hmm. Z has me thinking now. Where is my... I just had it. What did I do? Put it back? Look, 
the gray would be a nice touch in here. Something with a little texture. What do you mean under wreath? should be at the bottom. Now, all I have are these little ones. I was trying to avoid putting Christmas balls in here to keep it from looking too Christmassy. But let's do this. What if we put the bow at the bottom, girlfriend? Let's move some of these. Maybe if the bow is hanging down you would like that better. Let's try it that way. And see if you like that better. What time is it over there now? In Big B. Z, do you get snow over there? Or do you not get snow? Okay. All right, then let's put the big one right here in the middle and then below that put a little one then I have my three in a row hey Susan no problem we're changing it up anyhow <laughs> I had the bow in the middle now we're gonna put the bow at the bottom These are some wreath attachments that I made. I might have to go up higher with that one. Up one more. Get the thing, it's easy to take them off. Just anywhere do you get snow there in Bulgaria? I just meant, do you get snow on a, a you know, like what it, what season is it over there? Season, like, for you now. 
Okay. How does that look at the bottom? Does that look better at the bottom? I'm losing my snowflakes. Yep, there we go. There's number five. Number five. Look better at the bottom. Oh, okay. That's cool. Glued. That's already glued. Let's glue this one. Thanks, Sue. I think it. I think it does look better at the bottom. That way, you can really see the wreath attachments and the wreath sign. Okay. Sometimes you don't know until you try. All right, let's get her in there and let's let's get this glued. I think I may throw some glitter on these gray balls. Is enjoying sunny Florida. She's all moved into her new place now. And we're just glad she's back. Now we just have to get her on our lives again. I think I like that better. Sometimes it just takes another eye to show me. Thanks, see? I appreciate that. What do you think? Yay or nay to adding some snowflakes in here? I'll weave some around a little bit and then you tell me if I should leave it in or out. What do you think? <laughs> Why would you want to swim with the shark, Z? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, see? Now she's going to be thinking about us and our snow. Nay? We add a little in here, just dangling down. Nay? Or nay, nah. See, 
See that? She's rubbing it in, see? She's going to be on the beach. She used to be one of us up here. Now she's living the good life. <laughs> funny there you go all right I'm liking this better I'm liking the bow at the bottom I think Z was right it was fighting with the sign now it's not so I'm liking that better there we go we're all done the sign is in my Etsy shop, and tomorrow the um, the snow people will be in there too. I know, right? And then I'll show you when we did this wreath the other day. I had the silver um, balls in there. I actually took them out and put the white ones in there. And then I put this ribbon in there. Everywhere I had the white balls, I just felt it kind of gave it a little extra touch to the wreath. It, it was just too white and too silver. It just needed little pops of color. So that's why I did that. Oh no. And the uh, snowmen are listed. All right. You all stay safe. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Thank you for spending time with me. And um, probably be on next Monday. Now it's making me itch. <laughs> uh, still snowing. Thank you. These are great to leave up through through Valentine's Day. I'll do the shake test. Nothing's falling off. You too, Susan. Thank you. And I'll see y'all on Monday. All right, stay safe. Have a great weekend. Don't travel. You don't have to stay home. All right? All right. Good night. Good night, Z.